in this lecture we will learn about the contiguous allocation of processes in the main memory and how it works for multiple multi programming so your main memory is where all the processes have their code to be executed so it has two partitions okay so your main memory has first it has the resident operating system which is held in the lower part of the memory uh, along with the interrupt vectors okay so this is there for running the operating system so this is there in the ram and then there are user processes which are held in the higher part of the memory and in this contiguous allocation each process has its own memory okay so relocation registers are there which allows the processes different spaces in the memory so relocation registers used to protect user processes from each other registers also each other and let's see so they have a base and they have each process has a base address and it has a limit address now limit registers contain range of logical addresses okay how much maximum the each process will occupy the memory base register tells from where this location of that process is starting and mmu maps logical addresses dynamically okay so let's try to see so this is there that tells us so each process is there let's say there is a process here which is p1 so its base address is this one and let's say it's 13000 and the code has maximum size let's say 545 then what happens your limit will be 545 so when your code is brought into the memory so it starts at 13000 and it will go maximum up to 13545 so whenever cpu is executing the code for this particular process it will just see that the code that it is executing or data that it is accessing they are in the range of limit register okay relocation register okay so what happens is let's see so now what is it doing addressing error it's trying to see limit register if logical address is less than the limit register yes then it is fine okay so your maximum size of the code is still limit register so whatever is the value in limit register here for our case it should be 545 so if it is below that your logical address then it's fine otherwise if it's trying to access something different so don't allow that if it is okay then add the relocation register to it okay so relocation register will have the value 13000 and so your physical address will be found out using this idea okay so this is for contiguous allocation so now your process is starting at 13000 memory location and it will be accessing anything in between 13000 and 13545 if it tries to access something else there will be problem so this is for memory protection also and for allowing multiple processes to exist together now let's try to see what will be there what are the problems and or first actually how it operates so if we try to look here so we have we want basically multiple partition for allocation so degree of multi programming limited by the number of partitions okay so the number of partitions you have that will allow the number of multi programs so here if you see so in fact let me put it here so this one has different instances this is the main memory now process 5 process 8 and process 2 are running they are running parallelly and process 8 is a big program application that is occupying bigger memory chunk okay then let's try to see about now let's say process 8 goes away and then you have a big chunk of memory that is 
empty now and available for other processes to run. Now process 9 comes still there are quite a few spaces available. So when process 10 we accommodate that now there are four programs that are running and in fact one more program can be allowed okay and in, based on the size of the hole that we have. So whole block of available memory holes of various sizes are scattered now if this one process 9 goes then this part will also be available so there will be different holes at different places okay when a process arrives it's allocated memory from a hole that is larger than the the process requirement process exiting frees its partition of course so when process uh, 8 went away this was available for others so operating system then needs what it need to know what are the partitions that it has allocated basically what are the addresses physical addresses that are being occupied and what are free okay so this is the operating system needs to maintain so now let's try to see so how do we allocate those memory locations to any process incoming process so there are few of them few algorithms so one is allocate the first hole that is big enough so we try to search from the beginning whichever hole is found which is bigger than the process requirement of memory allocated this is called the first fit okay best fit what it sees allocate the smallest hole that can be big enough for that particular process so you need to search all the holes and their sizes and whichever is the smallest enough to accommodate that we use that okay then the worst fit fit allocate the largest hole so again we need to search the entire list produces the largest leftover hole so these are the three different ways in which we can allocate the memory to processes okay and let's now try to so first fit and best fit are better than the worst fit in terms of speed and storage utilization. Now let's try to see what are the problems. So there will be a problem of fragmentation. So when you are allocating memory, okay. So let's say there were, this was process 1, then process 2, process 3. So this is the state till now let's say process 2 goes away now we are allocating space to process p4 p4 occupies this okay p5 comes we allocate this one now this is the hole there and then let's say p1 goes away okay so p1 now goes away and now p6 comes so this is a hole this is a hole okay so there are total memory space and now let's say this is this space is 5 mb this again this hole is 4 mb now some process comes which requires 8 mb of space so neither this nor this can accommodate it separately but both of them there is enough space in the memory still which can accommodate 8 MB but it's not available because they are not contiguous holes are not there okay so this complete chunk is not available so this is the problem total memory space exists to satisfy the request but it is not contiguous so this is external fragmentation what is internal fragmentation allocated memory may be slightly larger than requested memory this size difference is the internal to partition but not being used another one is internal fragmentation so that is i have given you let's say 6 mb of space but the process is actually using 5.75 so 0.25 internal to that space is unused okay so this is internal fragmentation First fist analysis reveals that n blocks allocated 0.5 n blocks lost due to fragmentation. So this is such a big problem. Fragmentation because processes are randomly coming up. You are freeing first fit whichever hole we find first we try to accommodate it. So there will be problem of fragmentation and it is quite huge around 50%. So that's not 
good and that's why people went and tried to find something better which is known as paging okay where instead of contiguous allocation of memory to processes we allocated page to them 